Hello! Today let's talk about conditional formatting in our Outlook calendar. What conditional formatting does is color code appointments based on conditions that you set. Let's take a look. We have two appointments over here. One is appearing in a dark purple color and one's appearing in a yellow color. The subject line of this appointment says Excel Workshop. The conditional formatting was set that if any appointment is placed on the calendar that has the word workshop in the subject line, it should appear in this dark purple color. Let's look at this one. This conditional formatting was set that if any appointment is posted on the calendar with the word webinar in the subject line, it will appear in this yellow color. It's really great when you can use a word that is intuitive to the type of appointment you're working with. If you are posting a workshop appointment on your calendar, you're probably going to use workshop in the subject line. So that's a great word to use for a conditional format. Same with webinar. If you're posting a webinar on your calendar, you're probably going to use the word webinar in the subject line. So that's another great one to use for your calendar. You want to use words that are a part of the title or subject of the calendar so you don't have to think about it or it just comes up automatically and the condition format will also appear automatically. So how do we do this? Let's go up to the ribbon of our open calendar. We have to have our calendar opening outlook. We go to the view tab of the ribbon. From the view tab we go to the left of the ribbon and we look for a view settings button. We click on view settings and a window appears, an advanced view settings calendar window appears. And if we go down a little bit, we see a button that says Conditional Formatting. Let's click on Conditional Formatting, and you're going to see the rules that are currently set for this particular calendar. You're going to see that I already have a few set up. So let's look at that Workshop one. We said Workshop. We're going to click on it, see what's up with it. We scroll down a little bit. We see Name. The name of the, the setting is name of the conditional format is Workshop. The name of the, the color that we've assigned it is that dark purple, but what's the condition? Let's click on that condition button right there and we're going to see. It says search for the word workshop course or assistance. Now this is um, set up incorrectly. You can have multiple words that will set a condition, but when you do that the words must be contained in quotation marks. So it would go workshop in quotation marks, then the word or, and then we could do assistance in quotation marks and then the word or or I could put course in quotation marks and as long as they're in quotation marks and they're separated by or that means any um, appointment that's posted in my Outlook calendar that contains the word workshop or assistance or course will all apply to this condition of appearing in a, as a dark purple appointment on my calendar. So this one is set. We can click OK. We see it here and we click OK and that one's all good. Let's look at that webinar one while we're here. We're going to click on webinar. We see webinar. We see that yellow color. We click on condition and it has the word webinar to appear in the subject line. There are additional ways to set conditions besides it being a word in the subject line. If I clicked on Organized By and I selected a certain person, I can set a condition that any appointment that is, a po that is organized or created by a certain person would be in a certain color. Or if a certain person is in, a, in the attendees list of an appointment, it could appear in a certain color. Or as far as time is concerned, if it starts or ends or created or modified by a certain time frame, that can also be a condition. Okay, so why don't we go to, for fun, let's go back to the workshop one which was purple and we can change the color. We can change the condition. Um, let's make it this gray color. Okay, so now anything that has the word workshop assistance or course should appear in this gray color. We'll click OK, we'll click OK, and we see that our workshop appointment is now appearing in that gray. So let's look at the webinar one. Well let's go back to the workshop one and let's change instead of the word workshop let's use the word course 
and let's see if our conditional formatting still stays. Yes, it's still in gray because it, it accepted workshop to appear in gray and it accepted the word course to appear in gray. So if I wanted to create one from scratch, I would again go to the view tab of the ribbon, go to view settings, and um, go down to the conditional formatting button. I would go over here on the right and click on add and I would create a new one. Let's call it new. Let's spell it correctly. Okay, so here's new. I'm going to set um, the condition to be this green color. Anything new will appear in that green color. I'll set the condition that the word new needs to be in the subject field of the appointment. I'm going to click OK and click OK and click OK. So we just created that new appointment. All right, I'm going to double click on my calendar to create a new appointment. I'm just going to type in the word new because that was the condition that I set. And I really don't care about the date or time. I'm going to click save. And here is that, here is that new appointment in that green color. So that's how you can use conditional formatting on your Outlook calendar to color code the appointments on your calendar.